Hi, everybody. Come on in. Surprise, surprise. It's giveaway time. find my videos. Hold on. Hi, Kirsten. Hi, Bonnie. Hi, Desiree. Hi, Cheryl. Hi, Marva. Sandy, Laura. Hi, Carolyn. Yeah. Hi, Linnea. Hi, Leona. Hi, Patty. Hi, Jean. Hi, Gilly. Hey, Ryan. Ryan, I watched your... I was at work, so I couldn't watch it at work, but I came home and I watched your video with you and your mom, and I want to hang out with your mom so bad. Like, she is just the best. Hi, Elizabeth. Oh, my God. You guys are all jumping on here so fast. Bing, 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 bing. Hi, Karen. Hey, Chow. I'm just going to open up some envelopes so I can stuff them while we're here. Hi, Jane. Miss somebody. Hi, Marisa. Hi, Adrian. Welcome, Marisa. Tracy. Tracy, you have a package coming your way. I haven't mailed it yet, but I stuffed it for you. Anne Anne! I miss you, Anne Anne! Anne Anne, I went up to the Poconos today, and all I kept thinking was, wow, would Anne Anne love being here now and seeing all this color change? Hey, Bonnie! Oh, good. YouTube has fixed the notices. That's great. 47 of you are on here. Ugh, if you love foil, give me a thumbs up. Hello, Danielle in Tasmania. Hi, Tammy. No, the post office didn't send her package. Yeah, I'm really bummed out, you guys. Okay, so this is just some of what I have to offer here. Some more in a box here. Um, look at this pretty red, orange, gold greens, purple, we have orange stars, we have gold and silver sequins, we have hearts, um, what else do we have, this one, oh, this one's called um, champagne, which is like little dots, hi Mimi, Oh, so before I forget, I am going to show you guys. Um, maybe I'll do that after this. I got this, and I've been doing some experiments on that. And I'll just show you guys. Some of the experiments worked great, and some of the experiments did not work great. So we will talk about this in another video. Um, regarding the Cricut transfer foil sheets. Okay. Hello, Star. Hi, Leona. Hi, Margaret. <laughs> okay. So, obviously, I have some foil to give away. The first thing... I'm just going to jump right into this, guys. The first thing I'm going to give away is the Arteza watercolors. Let me find my Arteza video. Your channel. I have all of this stuff and like Ryan, it's like Marissa, but a different spelling. Call me Risa, like how you pronounced it. Ah, okay. Got it. Um, as Ryan said, I need to get some of this crap out of my house. <laughs> um, so let's see here. Where was it? Okay, Arteza Crafty Giveaway. Oh, we don't want to watch the video, Nance. Hold on. All right, so I need to, to pick the video. Let me show you guys what I'm doing here. I don't want to be accused of not being fair. Okay, I copied the link. Now I need to go to Random Comment Generator, right? Xavier and I were going to go to the um, movies today, but we're not. 
All right, so, whoops, did I pick the wrong one? Hold on. Where's random comment generator for YouTube? Clearly, I was not prepared to do this. What I'm going to try to do is try to, um, yeah, I have a lot of stuff in my basement. Yes, Anne, Anne. I'm going to try to go to the post office tomorrow, so. Okay, here we go. Random comment generator. Enter the video. Here we go. Okay, this is for the Arteza watercolors. By the way, I'm sorry, this is only for US only, you guys. Oh my gosh, Elizabeth Costa Rogers. Elizabeth, are you on here, darling? So for you guys who don't know who Elizabeth is, she actually designed the FSC logo for us and she just started a YouTube channel. So make sure you go check them out. Um, I am like, wow, yay, congratulations, Elizabeth. These will be coming in the mail to you, sweetheart. Um, I'm, I'm trying to stuff the envelopes to see where they'll fit. Yeah, oh, she's driving. Okay, got it. That must be hubby. Okay, so it's not going to fit in that one. I'll stick it in this one here. All right, so winner number number one. Chow, can you write these down for me in case I lose my sticky notes? Okay. Okay, winner number two. Actually, we're going to have a couple of winners from my 17,000 subscriber giveaway. Let me just first stop and give a shout out to you guys, the FSC to my subscribers, if you don't know what the FSC is, that is our group, the Foiling Snobs Club. Thank you, Chow. Chow just linked Elizabeth's channel for you guys to go check it out. Um, because This is all sponsored. You can see it's all H&H &H foil. I have a couple of rolls of CVS foil I'm going to throw in here too. But, um, like, for example, this is CVS Shamrock Envy. It is the same color as H&H &H green. See, they're identical, okay? Um, so I have some of those. Um, what else do we have that matches here? The red, the red is the same color red. Okay, here's Ruby Slippers. Ruby Slippers is the same as H&H's red, okay? So um, I bought them, number one, to see if the colors match, but two, I know you guys are starting your Christmas cards, so that's why you see reds, greens, golds, silvers. I do have a couple of orange and purple for those of you that might be doing some Halloween foiling, but I was really thinking Christmas, and to get back on track where I was saying is every time you guys use my affiliate links, okay, they give us store credit. So this is a lot of foil here. So 10 rolls of foil. So how much is 10 rolls of foil? 100 bucks. So we got 100 bucks in credit. This is what I bought the foil for, the store credit I used so I can give it back to you guys. So please keep that in mind when you guys are using my affiliate links and you're like, oh, I can just log on there. And when you use the affiliate links, it gives us credit. And then the credit um, I use to buy stuff to give to you guys. So yes. Um, so Marissa, yeah, um, make sure you're answering all of the questions um, in there. Sometimes people apply and they don't go through and answer all the questions. So you got to answer all the questions. Plus, um, like I said, I have some foils out of my own personal extra stash here that I'm going to do in some of these giveaways. I will say I'll probably pick, oh, I don't know, four or five people here today right now. And some people, I'm just going to randomly stick a package in the mail and send it to you. So... You know, I just want to surprise you guys, and that's what we're going to do here. So let me start with 
17,000 subscriber giveaway. And yeah, I know, Danielle, I'm going to have to keep this giveaway to U.S. only because I have to pick up the shipping costs. And last time I did a giveaway, you guys, I spent like $250 in shipping everywhere. So I can't afford to keep picking up the bill on the shipping. All right, here we go. Um, okay, the next video I want, I'm going to find this 17,000 subscriber giveaway. And I want to apologize to everybody. I have not been on here. I've been working. Honestly, I've just been in like this grouchy mood this week as well. As my admins will tell you, um, <laughs> not I didn't want to take it out on anybody. I was just not, you know, it's just moody from being at work, getting cranky. My aunt had to leave me. And, you know, it's just a very emotional week for me. So, all right, here we go. 17,000 subscriber giveaway. Share, copy the link. Um, oh. Now, I'm not going to tell you guys what you're winning. I'm just going to start picking names. And I'll tell you why. Because I have a box of goodies here. Do you see that? So... It's not just the foils you could possibly win. I have some stamp sets in here. I have this cool Cricut Deluxe paper. I have the hot foil stamps. Um, I have rubber stamps. I have hot foils. I have dies. So Nancy's got a lot of stuff to give away here. And I want to thank you guys for letting me know about the sales. I try to pick up stuff when I see it because I know not all of you guys can. I also want to um, thank you guys that contribute to my giveaway. I know a lot of you guys, unfortunately, sometimes duplicate buy. And instead of returning it, you send it my way. And I truly appreciate that, that we can pass on the kindness to other people. So I want to thank you guys for sending me. Look, there's a dusty, dusty brush. I want to thank you guys for sending me stuff to give away as um, do the rest of my admins. I know a lot of you contributed to Ryan's giveaway and Tracy's giveaway. So thank you guys so very, very much for that. Um, what else is in here? In 3D embossing folders. Um, I hope you guys don't mind if I put these in the giveaway. There are one, two, three, four, five stencil brushes. They are gently used by me, but I paid $50 for these and I am not using them that at all at all. They're in very good condition. You can see this one's not even used at all. So I hope you guys are okay with me throwing these in the giveaway, even though they're used, I'll put them in with something else. I have some foam tape. So, and then I have, I have a whole bunch of like stamps that I'm just kind of purging. Again, they might be used, but you'll get them with some other things, I promise. They're not just gonna send you a used stamp set. <laughs> and if you can use it, great. And if you want to pass it on, my feelings will not be hurt if you wanna share it with somebody else. Put it in your own giveaway. Ah, oh, thanks, Laura. Yeah, I'll definitely let you know. All right, let me move some of the stuff out of the way here. So this is all going in this box of stuff that I've been collecting. Like, literally, every time I go to a Hobby Lobby or a Michaels, and I'm like, oh, I think people would like that. I'm also going to throw in a pack of the new Cricut foils. I bought an extra. So that's going to go in there for you guys. Um... If I don't have your address and I have to email you, I might ask you a question if you have a hot foiling machine. That might give you a hint as to what you're getting. Um, just saying. H&H &H is restocking next week. Yes. Yes. Here's already one that's ready to go. So somebody's going to get these fun little garden flowery things here. So we have a... 3D flower texture folder, a small little flower texture folder, a flower die, and a little flower boot die. These actually were sent to me, so thank you FSC for contributing. 
So that's like one of the package I'll pack up and then somebody's gonna get it in the mail. So I did, I'm serious, you guys. I got I got the envelopes here, see? So that I I can start stuffing things in the envelope and I wanna go to the post office tomorrow and I wanna mail this these things to you guys. Okay. Okay. Oh. I'm gonna pick a name and then we're gonna talk about something else. All right, so let's start on that one. Mary Egger. Mary Egger likes my Blue Knight rubber stamps. Mary Egger, E-G-G-E-R. Mary Egger, I hope you are in the United States. I would love to send you one of these prizes. Let me write this down. What's going on? Who's bet what? Who wear what? Oh, no, Katina. I'm sending you hugs, honey. I went through that with my dad. It's very tough. The best thing you can do is spend as much time together as you can and make sure she's comfortable. Yes. What kind of stuff do you have, Marissa? Are you just starting out? Okay, Mary Egger is going to be one of my winners. I want to show you guys a beautiful card that I got. I got happy mail from my friend Bonnie. Bonnie was, <laughs> I say Bonnie is my, my first true fan because Bonnie came up to me at one of the stamp shows and was like, you're Nancy Stamps, can I take a picture with you? And I just thought it was the sweetest thing and I'll never forget that. So this card came to me from Miss Bonnie. She did this I believe this is alcohol inked and die cut. And then she put it on this matte foil um, card. And then she basically put, hey, happy world card making day. So thank you, Bonnie, for that. All right. And let's pick another winner. I'm going to pick another winner from that same page. What are the odds, you guys? Did you see that? That's the card I just showed you. Bonnie Tate. That is creepy. The phone is listening. Isn't that amazing? Let's pick another winner. So Bonnie, Mary, Elizabeth, you guys are all going to get mail from me. Linda Gaynor. Linda says, been watching a couple of months. I watch the foiling videos the most because I have learned the most about foiling. So, Linda, this is your kind of giveaway, honey. All right. So, before I pick some more winners, I want to show you the stamps that I ordered and I got from our last Stamp Wars Challenge. Got a little note here from Lisa at Local King Rubber Stamps. This is part of her challenge set. So you guys will see me do a video on this. And Tracy got the same set. So Tracy and I are going to do our own little stamp showdown. We're going to do a duo. And then we're going to submit it to Local King Rubber Stamps. So we're going to do a video on this. We got the stamps and the dies. And then she also sent along to me this Morning Glory set. And look at it. It comes with the outlines. It comes with the solids. And three different types of butterflies. I love the kind of watercoloring look that she has. Very, very light and natural looking. So these are very, very pretty. Yes, I'm very excited to use this peacock feather. Yeah, so Local King Rubber Stamps right now has um, a challenge where if you buy their stamps and submit them to them, um, they're going to send you a card back and I think a coupon. So go check them out, Local King Rubber Stamps. I ordered some more, but they're part of the brand new release, so they didn't come out yet. And Local King Rubber Stamps um, sponsored our last stamp war, so we got to do her proud. Bonnie, honey, I just showed your card, and you just won prize package from me. Let's do another one. Same one.
Donna Hayford. Didn't Donna just win from one of our people before? Donna Hayford. I'm writing all of this down. So that is five winners. Mary, Bonnie, Linda, Donna, and Elizabeth won the Arteza watercolors. So five of you, I'm going to send packages tomorrow to you guys. Um, you don't know what you're going to get. Some of you might get foils. Some of you might get foils and stamps. Um, if you guys have hot foiling and you want some hot foil goodies, let me know. In fact, I'm going to pick a giveaway winner right now. Who wants to win some hot foil giveaways? U.S. only. I got two packs. I'm going to pick two winners right now. Who wants to win? You got to have a hot foiling system. So that means you need to have a Spellbinders Glimmer or you need to have um, the foil press or you got to have the foil quill. Got to have a hot foiling system. This will not work with the mink. Will not work with the mink. All right. All right, for those of you who are raising your hands and saying, me, 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 I have a question you're going to have to answer. Did you think I was going to just make it that easy? <laughs> All right. Only true Nancy Stamps fans are going to know this. Look, it's going to be the exact same prize package. You're going to get a set of hot foils, and you're going to get a little happy birthday die. All right, ready? If you want to win one of these hot foiling packages you have to be in the united states and you have to tell me no laura these will not work in a laminator these only work in the spellbinders glimmer machine or the gemini foil press machine or the um uh, memory we are memory keepers foil quill machine those are the only ones it'll work on okay only true nancy stamp fans are going to know this if you've been watching me for a while yeah it's not going to work on the laminate on the laminator or the cricket. Okay, ready? Must be in the U.S. Who is my favorite football team? Go. <laughs> All right, you guys got the right answers. Bonnie, you already won, so you're not eligible. Laura Ann, you answered first, so you will get one of these, Laura Ann. And Maria, you were next after Bonnie, so Laura Ann and Maria. You two will be getting these prizes. If I don't have your address... Laura Ann, I know I have yours. If I don't have your address, Maria, I don't know if I have yours or not. Um, send me an email at foilingsnobsclub at gmail. Noelle does not like the Steelers. Yeah, Lynn, that's what we were trying to tell you guys is we do the research so that you get the value. Mm-hmm. Uh, Laura Ann, that will depend on which um, die cutting machine you have. Hello, T-Money. Maria, which hot foiling system do you have? I missed your answer, Connie. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First one I see that came up for me 
It says Laura Ann, Bonnie, who already won, and then Maria. Then Jean, Linnea, Susan, Diane. Anita said the Patriots. Anita, girl. <laughs> Even my aunt, Aunt Ann, go to bed. She said Patriots. <laughs> That's right. Go Stillers. I'm going by what's on the, the text on here. I am on live chat, you guys. I promise I'm on live chat. You have to be on live chat. Um, Laura Ann, do you have a big shot or do you have a Gemini Junior? <laughs> yeah, you got to be on live chat, you guys. <laughs> well, Connie, I have plenty of more to give away, so don't worry. Okay, Laura, I am. Then I would say for you the Spellbinders uh, Glimmer. Because you can't use the Gemini foil press unless you have the Gemini. Ray Wade has all the machines. Me too, honey. <laughs> all right, so we now have four, five, six, seven giveaways that I've done tonight. I just want to remind you guys that tomorrow night is what? Stamp Wars, Stamp Wars, Stamp Wars, Stamp Wars, Stamp Wars, okay, so um, tomorrow night is the first of two, Lauren, you can pick it up at Hobby Lobby for $75, so Stamp Wars tomorrow, the first of two or October, we're going to have one tomorrow, and we're going to have one in a couple of weeks, um, and tomorrow, um, we're changing it up a bit, Chow and I are going to be the um, host and admin, unless Chow's package shows up tomorrow, so everybody please pray to the mail gods, cross your fingers, and you know, do what we need to do to try to get Chow her package tomorrow, because I would love for Chow to be able to participate but if Chow's package doesn't show up, it'll be Chow and I as admin and host. And the participants will be Ryan, Stacy, and Tracy. So it will be 7 p.m. Eastern Time right here on my YouTube channel. All right. There's going to be some sabotages that I have written up. Um, these guys are shaking in their boots. I mean, I have literally written up so many things about this. Um... Yes, there's uh, some some switch up going to happen here with these guys. What did Ryan call it? Revenge of the Empress. So, ha, 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 ha. Oh, that's right. Renee's going to be helping us. That's right. So, um, but thank you to you guys. I really do love doing these giveaways because um, you guys help get me where I'm at. You guys are supporting the FSC. You guys are supporting the companies like H&H &H so that we can get free stuff to send to you guys. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do this without you guys, you know, and your contribution. So Sunday, um, I have some things I want to do Sunday. Oh, I wanted to go over with you guys Sunday. Um, of course, we're going to each do a video on the Stamp War sponsor during the week. So you'll want to make sure you are subscribed to everybody, which is going to be um, Stacy at SNR Creations from the Heart, Tracy Schultz, Create with Chow and Glitter Grunge Greetings. Make sure you're subscribed to all five of us and following us because we all each have a video based on the Stamp War sponsor starting next week. I am going to be doing some foiling tomorrow night with you guys. So we're going to have some more fun tomorrow night. I mean, Sunday. Sunday. So we have Saturday at 7 p.m. Sunday. 
I'm going to be doing some foiling with you guys. And then next week, whatever um, the Stamp Wars challenge is, we're going to um, show that stamp set as well to you guys for the week for that sponsor. All right. Anybody got any questions of anything else going down? Yes, Cynthia, I am going to put everybody's link. Chow is linking the links one at a time in the chat chat here. Uh, Laura, no. The hot foiling system, so thank you for asking that question. Let me go through that real quick. Okay, we now have three different kinds of foiling systems, okay? Let's talk about this real quick. That's a great question. Thank you for answering that. All right. So, for those of you that are new to my channel, welcome. Oh, I cut that one a little long. Um, there are three types of foiling systems. So, take note, okay? So, when you join the Foiling Snobs Club and you go into our Frequently Asked Questions page, I answer all of these questions and I have 8 billion videos on foiling. Um, so, yes, I will... Be proud to take on the name Foiling Empress. I have learned it all from my mentor, my guardian, Laura from Creative Vision Stamps. And unfortunately, Creative Vision Stamps has retired, but this was their foil packaging, okay? And I found her at a local stamp show and learned everything I know about foiling from her. So this kind of foil, so toner foil, that's what you have to go by, toner foil, Use on a laser printed toner graphics, okay? This is to be used, which is the same as H&H &H foil, which is the same as deco foil or mink foil. This foil does not have an adhesive on it and it will stick to toner printed images. What are toner printed images you're asking me, okay? Toner printed images are images that you can either print at home with a laser printer, not an inkjet printer, it will not work with an inkjet printer, with a laser printer, or you can purchase from companies like Crafty Krita. So here are some that um, Crafty Krita has sent me, and we do have a discount code for Crafty Krita, and I'll be showing more of these on Sunday. So wait until Sunday, you guys, because I'm gonna do a whole reveal on Sunday and show you what their Christmas lineup looks like, and I'm gonna give you a discount code on Sunday, and it's for the whole month of October. But Crafty Krita, designs and prints these high quality um, foil uh, toner prints so you can foil them. And you can foil them with, again, H&H &H foil, deco foil, creative vision stamps foil. Um, Crafty Krita also sells the same foil. And mink foil, those are all called toner foils. You need a toner printed image for them to work. You would use them in either a mink machine or a very hot laminator and I mean laminator means that it has to be um, heating up for at least 30 minutes for the laminator okay okay that's the most common and by far the easiest foiling system out there okay the second foiling system is called the hot foiling system, okay? Now, the hot foiling system uses a specific type of machine to heat up hot foil stamps or dyes, they call them. And these hot foil dyes heat up the adhesive that is in the foil a different kind of foil. I know foil all looks the same, but believe me, it's different. This foil, it says hot foil system. So you would take dyes like this thanks dye and you would impress that dye into the foil. Okay. So you cannot do this with this foil. Okay. And if you try to use this foil on your toner system, you will get a hot mess. It's going to look like this. Okay? So do not mix up your foils. You want to separate them. They are different kinds of systems. Do not assume when somebody asks a foiling question that that foiling question applies to toner or mink foiling or applies to hot foiling. We need to know more things. What kind of foil are you using? What kind of paper are you using? What do you have your heat settings on? Um, even to the brand of foil because... 
The Glimmer Hot Foil system, their foil works completely different than the Gemini foil press system. So I know it's Greek to you guys right now, but trust me, if you are going to get involved in these foiling systems, you want to watch my videos. And I have playlists for hot foil and I have playlists for toner foil, okay? <laughs> and then if you still have questions, sign on to the Foiling Snobs Club and ask your questions. Pictures help, by the way. Like I can look at a picture immediately and know, oh, that's a hot foil problem. She used the wrong foil. Here's another, here's another example. Okay, and I purposely used the wrong foil so you guys could see what would happen. Okay, now we have we have a new kid on the block, and I'm going to haze this new kid. This is the new kid. Okay, so Cricut has announced that they have, if you guys saw it on HSN and all over the internet, this brand new foil transfer system. Okay, I'm going to give you the basics in a nutshell. This is rub-on foil, okay? Which means it requires pressure. It doesn't require heat, but it requires pressure. If you try to run this foil through your mink machine, this is what's gonna happen. It is not good to be used as a toner foil, okay? So please do not use this in your toner system, okay? Now, what I did find out I was supposed to be saving all of this for you guys, is if you run it through your hot foil system, it actually foils beautifully. This is a hot foil die, and I ran it through my hot foil system. With heat, I did it for 15 seconds on low, and it's beautifully gorgeous, okay? Here's the problem I have with it. 24 sheets that are four by six inch sheets, so they are this big. You get 24, so you get eight of each color. And you get these cool little tacky glue strips. Let me find them. I will say I, I couldn't stop raving about these, these glue strips. Uno momento, por favor, let me find them. And I shouldn't say glue strips, they're tape. It's a plastic tape. It kind of reminds me of plumber's tape, okay? Here's the tape. The tape doesn't rip up your paper, and it's plastic. Look, I can't rip it. It's plastic. It's like Yupo tape, okay? They give you eight sheets of the tape. However, the price on this is around $8, okay? So... $8 for 24 sheets of foil and eight sheets of tape. Now, I'm gonna say we got a better value out there. If you are looking for hot, uh, hot, I'm talking about the hot foil method here. Okay, so this is what I did here. If you're going to do that, you're better off purchasing the hot foil rolls off of the internet. So you can get it from Spellbinders directly. You can get it from, um, Scrapbooking Made Simple sells their hot foils. HSN sells hot foils. So it's not a good value to buy this foil for hot foiling. But if you're in a pinch, if you're in a pinch and you're running out of hot foil and you got a project to make, you can you these will substitute for hot foil, but it's not a very good value at all. Okay? You guys know I like to bring you the value and I bring you the truth. All right, now. What this was designed to be used for was not to be used with heat. It was designed to be used in the Cricut system, the full-size Cricut, not Baby Joy. But I don't have a full-size Cricut, and I'm not going to buy a full-size Cricut for a foiling system when clearly Miss Nancy has enough freaking foil and foiling products in her house. So... What I did last night and what I wanted to do with you guys was my experiment was with Baby Joy. So here's what I did. Opened up Baby Joy and took out my blade and I put in one of the um, Cricut Joy pens, okay? I took the pen, put it in there, 
closed it up and then I ran it through and I did a design with paper and their foil and there you can see that beautiful tape at the bottom well remember how I said this is rub on foil it didn't get enough pressure so this system if you want to use it as it's intended as a rub on foil you must have the $40 starter kit which is going to consist of a special stylus tool so basically it's the blade but instead of having a blade they basically pop in a stylus tool for you okay this is this is i'm breaking it down the layman's term here okay so you're gonna pay forty dollars for their cricut stylus tool which will then run through the full size cricut machine and it should theoretically provide enough pressure to rub on this foil to transfer. So this is rub on foil, no heat required, okay? What I'm going to do, and I haven't had time to do it today, is I am going to try using my foil quill tools without heat. So I'm gonna use the foil quill in my Cameo, I have a Silhouette Cameo, and also in my Scan and Cut. Because if I can get those to work, then I don't need a Cricut machine and I don't need to spend $40 when I already have the tools. The only thing you would spend money on is the $8 of rub-on foil, which I don't see a value in. Now, yes, just like you guys, I said, hmm, wonder if it'll work if I just rub on it, right? Stylus, foil stuck down the paper. I am applying quite a bit of pressure. I'm gonna change it to the other ball stylus here. So I started with the smaller one, went with the bigger one. <laughs> so it must require a lot of pressure to get that to transfer over. I'm going to tell you right now from a Nancy Stamps opinion, this is not FSC approved, okay? This is too much work. It's too hard to get this foil to, to give that kind of design. I can do the same thing with the foil quill system that We Are Memory Keepers came out with. Yeah, I got to use hot foil, but I already have the machine. I already have the foil quill. I got to just buy hot foil to make it work. Cricut came out with this system because they don't want people using the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill in their system. That's why they came out with it. But if you have the, the Cricut to, or the We Are Memory Keepers foil quill and you have a silhouette or a scan and cut, it'll work. And you just use hot foil. It doesn't need pressure. It just needs heat. But I was messing around with this, you guys, all night. And I'm applying quite a bit of pressure here. And you can see it's rubbing off. It is rub-on foil. But it is not consistent at all on the experiments that I've tried it on. I am going to work on the silhouette. I mean, that should have all been on there by now. So I'm going to work on the silhouette. I'm going to work on the scan and cut and see if I can get better results. But as of right now, um, this is going to be fo filed in the same been as the toner ink <laughs> okay so hopefully you only spent eight dollars on the foil and you didn't go out and spend 48 dollars on the whole kit because uh, if you did uh unless and again i don't own a cricket so let me let me start by saying that nancy doesn't own a cricket i mean i have baby joy but they didn't make this for baby joy they only made this for the full-size cricket machine so i'm sure there are many youtubers out there that have a full-size cricket machine and can get this system to work but most of you guys have probably already purchased a foil quill and already have hot foil in your system i don't see a reason to buy two of them now you don't have a foil quill, you don't have hot foil, and you have a Cricut, and you want to try this out, by all means, go ahead and try it out. Who am I? I don't want to stomp on your joy. I'm just saying for those of us that don't need to add another foiling system to our lineup, because this isn't going to be a $48 purchase to me. This is going to be a $48 purchase, plus I need to buy a Cricut machine, which I'm not willing to do. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yes, Marissa, that's what we're trying to say. Yep. Yep. So, again, I don't work for Cricut. I don't work for HSN. I just like a good value, which is why I bring you guys, you know, $7 foil instead of $15 foil. And I want you guys to enjoy your foiling, but I also want it to be easy. And when you get into a system like this, it becomes difficult and it becomes expensive. And then you guys give up and you say foiling sucks and that's not the case. Right, Jean? That's the easiest way. Yeah, Tammy. Silhouette has had this foil for a while. Exactly. Hi, Terry. Terry, did you get your package from me? Well, Bonnie, you know, of course, if they build, if they, I don't understand if they, if they're going to build the little tool for the other Cricut machines, why would you not build one for your newest machine? That just boggles my mind. I do not understand that concept. I don't know. I don't understand it. Baby Joy's getting left out. All right. Do you guys have any other questions for me tonight? Tomorrow, 7 p.m. Stamp Wars. Right here, right now. <laughs> right. It's just because of the pressure, you know? But I think I can probably get this foil to work with the foil quill. That's my, my hope. That's my hypothesis. I will test that theory out, um, and I'll let you guys know tomorrow. Diane, I don't see any happy mail from you. Hold on. I got Bonnie's card. I got Elizabeth's card. Hold on. Maybe, I, maybe that was yours. Nope, and I got Mary's card. So, Diane, I didn't get it yet. But my mailman didn't drop off my mail today. So, I don't know what happened to it. It's like we got skipped. I am still waiting also. So, you guys, I'll give you another sneaky peeky here. It's not really a sneaky peeky because this is already out. My um, stamp set. I don't know why I'm not getting my mail. Me, my mailman and Chow's mailman are out to get us. My kitchen sink stamps stamp set if you guys saw the new horse in the mountains that were released last week there's a new haunted mansion set and mine didn't come yet so i'm waiting on that but there are some new foil printables on their website so i'll share those with you guys um these are on the kitchen sinks stamps website okay and i Printed them on my laser printer, so you can see here, it's a full size that I printed out. And then I did I cut it in half so it would fit in my mini mink, but also I wanted to show you um, what it looked like in black and white and what it looked like foiled. So this is the new tie-dye foil from H&H. &H. Chow, don't look. I'm going to hurt your feelings. I'm sorry. So this one is like a marble look. So that's one print. I love this one. What do they what do they call this um, pattern? I call it zigzags, but I know that's not the correct term. Chevron, that's right. So this one is using the green, blue, and yellow tie dye foil from H and H. There we go. Pretty. And again, you can print these foilables. You can purchase them at Kitchen Sink Stamps. I do have an affiliate link at Kitchen Sink Stamps. Okay. This is candy corn, so it looks very plain when you print it out. But when you foil it and you color it with yellow marker, look at orange foil, yellow marker. So cute. So you can download these at Kitchen Sink Stamps and print them on your um, laser printer and then foil them. Um, Auntie Teresa, they have two types of foil. No, they haven't sent me any foil. Honestly, I have enough foil. Their premium foil is the same as our H&H &H foil. It's the same company. 
Um, and then their regular foil they have on there, which is a little bit lesser expensive, expensive Auntie Teresa, that is um, like deco foil. So it's a little bit thinner. And like I said, on Sunday, I'm going to have a discount code for you guys for them. So this one is the bats, and then here I foiled them in purple tie-dye. So um, check out Kitchen Sink Stamps. You can download these and print them from home. You must have a laser printer. It won't work if you don't print from a laser printer. I saw some questions run by really quick there. Let me see here. Hold on. A mink is best for, um, yeah, the mink is what's best for foiling. You can try your laminator, but let your laminator heat up for a minimum of 30 minutes and make sure you're shimming everything. Oh, Arlene left. Good night, Arlene. Okay, Diane, yeah, I didn't get my mail yet. Um, and remember, they have their prices at Crafty Krita on Australia pricing. So when it converts over to American dollars, it's a little bit cheaper. Yeah, H&H &H Star, thanks for saying that. H&H &H is restocking next week their foils. Donna, you won a prize, honey. Yeah, that's you. Donna, you won a prize. So send me your address at foilingsnobsclub at gmail. Hi, Shayla. Hi, Jen. Yeah, premium is what you need to get. Yeah, you're a winner. Oh, somebody asked about my Misty Hinges. What was the question about the Misty Hinges? This is the Hero Arts Misty Hinges. It's exactly the same as the original Misty, except the stickers are black instead of pink. That's it. And this one's not all cracked up yet like my old one was. Yeah, so we just went through some foils and some winners. Um, some foil printables. The new kid on the block with the Cricut foil. But yeah, I got some, some stuff coming to winners. So for you guys that are winners or you guys that are catching us after the fact, Elizabeth, I have your address. Laura, I have your address. But... Mary Egger, Bonnie, I have your address, Linda Gaynor, Donna Hayford, and Maria Dominguez. Make sure you guys email me at foilingsnobsclub at gmail, and I will get your packages out. I'm going to try to go to the post office tomorrow and get this stuff in the mail. All right, guys, if you enjoy foiling and foiling videos, give me a thumbs up on your way out, and make sure you're subscribed and come back tomorrow night. 7 p.m. Eastern, right here on Nancy Stamps. Have your popcorn, have your soda. Expect to be here about an hour to two hours tomorrow night for Stamp Wars. Good night, everybody. Congratulations to all of the winners. Margaret, email me at Foiling Snobs Club. I have not made one of those in a really long time, so I have to look up the file. Bye, guys.